Hello everybody, and is everybody well today? <laughs> I am so glad to hear that. And me? Oh yes, I am doing wonderfully, thank you. I have been enjoying the summer. And why? Because I have this wonderful English garden and I have been harvesting tomatoes, cucumbers, radishes, spring onions, raspberries, runner beans, gooseberries. I have carrots. I've got lots and lots of produce. I do like a garden I can eat. <laughs> and I hope everything is going well with you as well. Now, where are we off to today, you may ask? Good question. I had a message from a YouTuber who uses the name Easy Flying, and he wrote, Hey, Father Dane, thank you for your videos. You're very welcome, my friend. He says, I am from Belgium, and sometimes I go to Turkey for a holiday, and sometimes I fly in my own simulator to, to Turkey. So I have a question. Can you do a flight from LTAF, which is Adana, to LTAI, which is Antalya, in Turkey? And of course I can. Bien sûr, just pourquoi pas? It is a flight of one hour, he says. You can find nice freeware scenery on the internet. I hope you like the flight. Thanks. Oh, je vous en prie, mon ami. No problem at all. Be glad to do that. And with the invitation of freeware, I went online and I did find some excellent freeware for Adana, L-T-A-F, and that is Freeware Scenery, and it was designed by Ahmet Osler. Now, I downloaded this from a website at www.sanalpilot.com, sanalpilot.com. You can see it here on the bottom, and it is a remarkable bit of Freeware Scenery. I installed it and gave it a good go over just to see that it would be all right. And it has flying birds. It has flying flags. It has got remarkable detail for freeware scenery. So thank you very much for the work that you've put into this, Ahmed. It really is a bit of grand scenery. Now the Antalya LTAI scenery that I already have, and it's by Just Sim. And it is also very detailed scenery as well. So the next thing I did was to see if there were any commercial flights between Adana and Antalya. And I did discover that there's two or three different airlines that does ply a route between the two. And I have chosen to follow Pegasus Airlines flight 3600, Pegasus Airlines 3600, or you can put in PC3600 into your search box and it will come up with the information about this flight. So that's what we'll do today. So if you're ready, are you ready easy flying? Well, you know, if you do a lot of flying like I do, that we need to go into pre-flight and check the weather and then make ourselves a flight plan. So let's go ahead and do that.
Well, here we are, we're in FlightAware and we're looking at Pegasus Airlines Flight 3600. Right here is the designator that you can also use to type in the search to come up with this particular flight. This particular one arrived six hours, 24 minutes ago at Terminal D in Antalya, Turkey. It took off and was two minutes early and arrived seven minutes early. Not bad, not bad at all. And this was the route. Here you can see the departure and it's going straight west. And then it makes this little twist and turn to make the approach into Antalya right there. The cruising altitude is 24,000 feet on this one. So we'll have to see whether we get the same one when we make our flight plan. Looking at windy, we have some very interesting winds around here. Look at this, the winds are coming straight from the north down here, but at this particular point, they're coming from the south going north. Here, going north to south, and here, <laughs> south to north. There's a, quite a bit of interesting weather patterns around there. So I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work out for determining which runway. It says the wind is 230 degrees, 8 knots, varying from 180 to 280. Wow. Ceiling and visibility is okay. Temperature is a warm 34 degrees. Q&H 1005, which is a little bit less than standard. So a little bit on the low pressure side. No significant change. And here are the runways. If I was to guess, I would probably think that we'd be departing on this one, which would be runway two three right here that would be that would be my guess but we'll have to see what gets assigned looking here at windy.com for Antalya which is our destination it says the wind is zero two zero which is coming directly then from the north Varying but from 340 to 080, so again, a lot of variety there. Ceiling and visibility okay, temperature 37 degrees, warmer. And Q&H is 1007, still that slightly lower pressure area. Looking at the runways, well, it'll be one of these. Now, I've got no idea which ones are the ones in use, but we will have to see. My guess is that P3D will probably want to assign us on this one. But if we get a choice, this one would be the better one because I believe this right here is where uh, all the Pegasus and domestic airlines go in and out of. So that would be a lot easier from a taxi point of view to come in and land, but we shall have to see. All right, here we are in Simbrief then. Let's make the flight plan. We are Ryanair, we are 186, and we're departing, of course, from LTAF, and we're going to go to LTAI. And LTBZ is our alternate. We'll look at that in a moment. Here is our airframe. There's the registration. Cruise profile for Ryanair is six. Now, this one is saying that departing runway five and arriving on runway 18 left. We are full. And we have, of course, one ton of freight. Here is our flight plan. And 
we'll see whether we actually get to keep that. It says the route distance is 269 nautical miles. Now this is the route that is given us for this particular flight. As you can see, it takes us up, swings us around, and then brings us down into Antalya coming from the north. So there is definitely a procedure for arrivals in Antalya. All right, let's go ahead and save the flight and then generate the flight plan. Well, here we are. This is our origin destination. There's the alternate cruise is 24,000 feet. Airtime is 56 minutes. Here's the block fuel. And there is the routing. This is Ryanair 186. Here's the flight level. And here, this is the routing that we will need. LTBZ is our alternate airport. We'll need to know that we're cost index 6. Average wind, 278 and 17 knots. There's the block fuel. Reserves, 2,728 kilograms. Trip and taxi, 2,885 kilograms. No tankering recommended. And here is the flight routing. And I'll put this in the description box in the uh, below the video. We'll need to know the descent information for 20,000 feet, for 15,000 feet, and for 10,000 feet, right there. And here is the wind information for our flight. And this is at flight level 240. And you can see we're going to be facing headwinds all the way in to Antalya today. It looked like the other one that we saw had tailwinds, but we're going to have headwinds. Well, it's the luck of the draw. We'll just have to, you know, handle it as best we can. And here is the cruise profile. The starting out from Adama and going up. Here's the top of climb. Straight down. Then into Antalya. All right, let's go into Navigraph Charts. So we click on flights, new flight from Simbrief, and we'll use the latest one that we made. Click here, open the charts list. We'll need to know the airport information, and I'll pin that. We'll also need to know the parking stands and coordinates. This one is calling for the The Manas 1 Alpha Departure. So I'm going to pin that one to the bottom. Now go over to Destination. We'll need to know the airport and we'll need to know stands up here, which is the domestic terminal. This is where all of the uh, flights from Pegasus come in at, so I'm going to pin it. And it's calling for this route to come in, which takes us up, then across, and then down onto one of the main runways here. So I'll pin it. And it's suggesting runway 18 left. I think I'm going to change that because I prefer 18 center. So let me look at ILS runway 
18 center I think that's would be the one to try to get in on so ILS Zulu let's look at this one and this one can bring us right in onto that center runway which would probably be the easiest one although P3D does have a tendency to bring us in onto the closest one on the side so coming in we'll be coming in on localizer Zulu 18 left and coming in on final approach will will probably come up <coughs> and if we can we'll make our approach by coming across here and then down we'll have to see how that works out okay we have the information that we need so now it's time to go into the cockpit and get ourselves organized. Ah, oh, hello there. Come on in and do take your seat. Fasten your seat belts and let's get ourselves ready, shall we? First of all, let me tell you where we are. We are at the domestic terminal at Adana. Uh, airport which is LTAF I've never been to this airport before so I am I don't know what the real one is like but if it's anything like this then this is a really well laid out airport there's two basic terminals there's the domestic one here and the international one over there I opted of course for the domestic one because we're making a domestic flight and I am well impressed with the scenery this is freeware scenery freeware and it was designed by a fellow by the name of Ahmed Osler so it is really very detailed there are flying birds and there are flying flags these by the way are EU flags that you can see here let me show you what all of this looks like this is uh, really something else so starting out over here on the left there you can see the detail there are stationary people there aren't any mobile people but there are stationary people there and but they have motion flags and another one over here right in front of the domestic terminal and sweeping around look at all the detail I mean this is <laughs> really grand detail and there are birds also flying in the sky as well which is very important because the charts warn about birds in the area so we'll have to watch out for bird strikes but that's where we are right in front of the terminal and it looks like we have prospective self-loading cargo waiting to board <laughs> well this is really a delight i am absolutely impressed with this freeware scenery right i have loaded on the the fuel and we have I'll give you a report we have 6322 kilograms of fuel on board and I've kicked the tires and made sure that the fuselage is clear and I've washed the windows I cleaned the windows making sure that there were no marks on the windows to interfere with the view that we have outside and of course we're going to fly to Antalya today so that's going to be really really interesting oh and by the way 
the frame rate of this scenery is 37, 38, 30, 37, 38, 37, 38 frames per second. And I am using three very large monitors here, television screens actually. And they are all set to 4K, ultra high definition. So I have pulled out all the stops for as much detail as possible. And I'm getting 38 frames per second out of this scenery. So it is really very good scenery. And so thank you, Ahmed. Thank you for the wonderful design that you've done here and the time that you obviously put into making this. All right, let's get ourselves organized then. First thing we do is we turn on the battery. We check that we have enough volts to be able to start the fuel pumps and then get the APU started. The APU, if you remember, is located in the tail of the aircraft and that provides two functions. One, it provides generator capacity for 115 volts, plus it also provides what they call bleed air, the air conditioning, which of course we are going to need on such a day like this today because here we have flawless blue skies. It is absolutely sparklingly clear, which is one reason why Turkey is such a favorite destination for British tourists these days. They like to go here because of the warmth. And I'm now looking for this light to come on. And there it is. Good. We now have 115 volts showing up here. So now I'm going to turn on the IRS to get the GPS started. Turn on the galley. Hopefully we'll have somebody bring us a cup of tea shortly. And there's the emergency exit lights. No smoking. Fasten seat belts. Over here I'm turning on the left and the right window heat. And I'm going to leave the probes off for the moment. Don't need anti-ice in a minute. I'm going to turn on the hydraulic pumps. Now the forward service hatch door is open and the equipment stairs are down in order that our self-loading cargo can board. And by the way, it is showing 34 degrees Celsius outside right now. So we need to do this. Turn on the bleed, turn on the packs and listen. There's that rush of air conditioning cooling down the cabin. We want to make sure that we have a cool flight. And then I'm going to turn on the steady light so that everybody on the ground knows that we are in here and preparing the flight. Today we are following Pegasus Airlines flight 3600. And hopefully we will managed to do the same that they did. We check that the AIRAC data is current and that the program is okay with no errors. Clear that, go to position and the airport that we are at is LTAF. So LT and A and F and we are at gate five, so I'll put five in, and there it is. And checking on the charts, according to this, it should be 36591, 17, and eight. So that is correct. So we'll put that in there and put that there. Now we have put our GPS start position in place. Now we'll go to the root and we're going to do LTAF again. And we're going to go to LTAI. 
We are Ryanair, R-Y-R, -R, and we're number 186. That's almost like flying a pirate's flag, isn't it? <laughs> and now we're going to go down to next page, and we're going to put in the flight plan. We're going to go first of all to Manaz. M-A-N-A-Z. Then we take the Uniform Whiskey 74. Uniform Whiskey 74. And that will take us to Mutt, M-U-T. Then we take the Uniform Romeo 55. Uniform Romeo 55. And that will take us to Abdel. So A D B E L. And that is it. Activate that and execute. Now we'll go to fix and put in our destinations. That would be L T A I. And we need a four mile circle. We need a 10 mile circle. And we need the 30 mile circle. Go to descent forecast. Transition level is set by ATC. So I'm going to leave that as it is. But we do need the information for these three flight levels of 200, 150, and 100. And the Q&H at our destination is 1006. So 1006. And then on page 8 of the flight package, we have a 200 that is 308 at 9. So 308 at 9. And 351 at 11, 351 at 11, and 10 at 10. Well, that's easy. And then execute that. Now we go to departures and arrivals, and here's where we need to first of all listen in to ATIS, and then after that we'll get our clearance. So ATIS, oh there is no ATIS. So it looks like we just tuned straight into the tower here at 1 to 1.1. So 1 to 1.1. And we're going to request our IFR clearance. Line Air 186 is cleared to Alpha Delta Bravo Echo Lima Airport as file fly runway heading climb and maintain 10,000 departure frequency is 126.5 squawk 6604 Ryanair 186 cleared to Alpha Delta Bravo Echo Lima Airport as file fly runway heading climb and maintain 10,000 departure on 126.5 squawk 6604 Ryanair 186 red back correct contact ground on 121.1 well, we have our clearance, so now we'll request taxi IFR. Adana Ground, Ryanair 186, ready to taxi IFR. Ryanair 186, taxi to and hold short at runway 23 via taxiway Alpha, contact tower on 121.1 when ready. Taxi to and hold short runway 23 via taxiway Alpha, Ryanair 186. Well, we are going to go from runway 23. So I'm going to put 23 in, which means we'll be doing a straight out departure. And we are anticipating coming in on runway 18 center, hopefully when we get to our destination. So that will be ILS Zulu 18 Center, right there. And we're using the, the Adbal 1 Delta arrival. And we'll put that in. We're going to make some changes on our 
uh, root here. So I'm going to go now into legs and I'm going to switch to plan. Right, I've got this set for plan and I'm now going to go through the steps to see how this is going to work out on our route. There's the 30 mile circle around our destination. And there's the turn going up. There's the AI815, which I'm going to make a note of in just a moment. This goes all the way up. My goodness. And then it turns out, comes into a vector, comes back down again to land on runway 18 center. But I'm going to make a slight change here. I'm going to uh, that one AI815 I'm going to put that and then I'm going to step through all of this coming down to C118C and then I'm going to put that right there just like that now let's have a look and see how this plays out go through the steps goes up there it is and then it turns around to swing to intercept the final for a landing on runway 118 one center so we have a plan Switch this back now to map. Good. Now I'm going to go to route. Perform the initialization. We have 6,322 kilograms of fuel on board. We have 2,728 for reserve. The trip and taxi is 2,885. Comes to 5,613 or 5 5.6. So 5.6. 2.7 is our reserves, cost index is 6, we're 240 for our flight and our cruise, Arctic, uh, uh, cruising wind is 278 at 17, 278, 17, transition altitude is 15,000 feet double click this and it makes the calculations for us and execute that go to n1 limit there's the 34 degrees outside take off we are flaps 10 center of gravity click that one click on each of these brings up the value for v1 rotation and takeoff speed of 145 all of our passengers are now on, so bringing up the stairs and closing the door. And I'm going to put 145 in here. I'm going to set this. And I'm going to put 24,000 feet into our flight altitude and our landing elevation is 177 so that's close to 150 so I'm going to put 150 in on that okay and since we're using 23 for a departure runway 23 is 230 degrees so I'm going to put 230 degrees in the course heading here I'll do yours if that's okay. All right. Good, got that. Now I'm going to go weather on this. Double click data. Going to put terrain on yours. Double click the data. 
I'm going to go to 20 miles on the range on this and then I'm going to turn on there we go that's gone off that's the your damper and now I'm going to test this B nav L nav good we have a good flight plan on the throttle VOR1 VOR2 is going up now for the VORs in VOR1 I'm going to put the localizer for our destination which is 108.7 so 108 Point seven, and then in VOR2 I'm going to put the Antalya which is 114 so 114 good now those are both in the next thing I'm going to do is put our decision height in which is 372 so 372, setting the TCAS on now and switching to RTO. Okay, everything is looking good. We've got our clearance, so we are now ready to do our checklist and get ourselves ready to go. Now, since we are at the domestic terminal, we want our nose to go to the left and our tail to go to the right. So fuel is on board, windows all locked, seatbelt signs are on, check, door lights are out, MCP is programmed and good, kickoff thrust bugs and speeds all set, CDU pre-flight is completed, Rudder airline trim is set. Taxi takeoff briefing is completed. Anti collision light is now going on. Okay, now we're ready to do our pushback and start. So, um, which engine would you like to start today? Number one on the left or number two on the right? It's your choice. Number one on the left. That's a good one, why not? So I'm going to switch this to generator one. And now I'm going to contact the ground and ask them to give us a pushback. So we're going to ask for our nose to go to the left. And so here we go. Are you ready? Everything looks good. All right. Cockpit to ground. We've been cleared for pushback and start. They want the tail to our right. Copy that, ready to push. Tail to the right. Parking brakes released, please. Brakes released. Brakes released, here we go. All right, now I'm switching to engine number one, turning off the air conditioning. The start valve has opened. The engine N2 is spinning up. When this gets to 24, I'm going to introduce the fuel. And coming up, and there it is. There's the fuel going into engine number one. And it's coming up very nicely there. And should hear the engines in a moment. There's the engines. Right, and now switching to engine number two, looking for 115 volts, got that. Start valve has opened on engine number two, and two is spinning up. When that gets to 24, we'll be putting on the fuel again. And there it is. Pushback complete. Parking brake set. Parking brake is set. Brake set. Steering pin is pulled. Watch for the salute release from guidance on your right after the flight. Thank you, gentlemen.
Okay, that has clicked off. So we now have stabilized power. I'm now switching to the main engines for our power, turning on the air conditioning, turning off the APU bleed, and turning off the APU. And now I'm going to turn on the three taxi lights and ready now to make our check. Generators are on check, probe heat is now going on check, anti-ice not required, isolation valve is correct, start levers, idle detent, flight deck door closed and locked, and recall is check, flight controls good, flaps going to flaps 10. Flaps, there we are, we have green lights now on the flap, stabilizer trim is correct, auto brake is RTO, speed brake lever down detent, ground equipment is clear. So, we need to go to the end of the runway, which is actually just up there, very short run. Look at the scenery around here. This is beautiful scenery. Now, I'm going to just do a quick check, make sure everything is good. Everything is fine. Okay. I now have the Navigraph charts working and you can see it down here on the right really impressive scenery here right break off let's give ourselves a bit of a boost to get ourselves unstuck and we'll move to the active runway and the all the lines here are very clearly marked all the stands that is a real plus okie dokie and we'll make our way up here to the active runway we'll get to the whole short lines and then we'll do our quick check and ask for takeoff clearance. Really impressive scenery this, you know, really impressive. coming up on the whole short line okay now I'm going to request the tower for clearance the Dharma tower line at 186 fly FR departure runway 23 line at 186 cleared for takeoff runway 23 cleared for takeoff runway 23 line we are cleared for takeoff so the briefing is correct bleeds are on Start switches continuous, all lights are on, position is now on strobe and I am starting the clock. Right, if you're ready, here we go then. Make sure nothing is coming. Even though we're cleared to take off, you never know. It is still the pilot's responsibility.
Okay, going to N1 power setting and toga button push full power and we are rolling. Now on to autopilot. to go to work. Going to flaps five. So this will be a first time for me and I'm rather looking forward to landing at Antalya to see how that looks. But I think you'll agree, for freeware, that Adana scenery was magnificent. Right, we have a little while before we are getting ready to make our descent and approach, so why don't you nip into the back where all of our passengers are treated as first class and given complimentary champagne and caviar and a whole bunch of other things too. So, if you'll do that, I'll give you a shout as soon as we are on our approach into Antalya, okay? I'll see you in a little bit. Come on back, take your seat, 
and let's tell you where we are. We are 27, 28 DME miles from that VOR and we have just crossed over into the 30 mile controlled area. So I'm about to contact the tower and ask for permission. Antonio Tower, Ryanair 186627 miles east with Lima to land. Ryanair 186 Antalya Tower, enter left base, runway 18 left, altimeter 1007. Antalya Tower, Ryanair 186, we prefer runway 18 center. Ryanair 186 Antalya Tower, made left base, runway 18 center, altimeter 1007. Made left base, runway 18 center, Ryanair 186. Right, we are given our instructions to land. We have been given 18 center, which is what we wanted. So now we're going to make that little turn to the right in just a minute to make our downwind leg and then we'll move on to base, then on to final. Sound like a plan? Good. Then we are on track. Okay, things are looking good. Now I've got the speed slowed down a little bit so that we're not going to be too fast. It's a busy airport so I don't want to be on the top of anybody. I've got auto brake 3 set and now we're making our turn. Now we're pretty much going downwind for landing on runway 18 center. So how was the food and the champagne? Oh, it was good, was it? Did that lot save me any? No. What a bunch of ingrates they are. Oh, well. Oh, I can see the airport down below. Let me see if I can get this on video. And there it is, there's the airport down below, there's Antalya Airport. There's a, a very summer haze, a heat haze hanging over the area. By the way, we never got into freezing conditions at all. Our journey along was plus five, so we were five degrees the whole way in. No risk of icing at all. The skies have been flawless, beautiful, all the way. Okay, we're coming up to that waypoint AI815 and then we will be turning on to base leg at that point. charts are adjusted so you can see our route and we're going to be making that little turn off when we get to AI 815 instead of making a long downwind we're making a short downwind and then we'll make a short final much more efficient for fuel right I'm now going to go 
the flaps too. Okay, seat belt signs are now, fasten seat belt signs are on. There we go, now we're making our, we are now on base, on base to land at runway 18 center. Going to flaps five. this to 182 which would be our final heading when we make our turn I have the airport in sight and I can see the runway it's clear as a bell today just very just a summer haze over the area Seatbelt signs are on. No smoking recall is checked. Auto brake is number three. Data post briefing. Altimeter start switches. Good. We are set. We have three green lights. We have flaps. We're now turning on to final, and it is a short final. Lovely scenery, the detail is really magnificent. And this is P3D, default, just, just magnificent. There's the airport ahead and coming up onto the localizer and there's the localizer. I've intercepted the localizer and I'm now on the glide slope. We're on the glide slope for landing. I have the runway in sight. 2500. 2500, check. Wind is a little variable, but we seem to be doing all right for the minute. There's the runway in sight. We have two white, two red. And there's the outer marker. Ryanair 186 clear to land runway 18 center. 
clear to land runway 18 center line 186 crew prepare to land secure for landing we are cleared to land well what do you think Italian tower american pacific 447 is minor miles north inbound ils runway 18 left approach American Pacific 447, Antalya Tower, fly straight in, runway 18 left, altimeter 1006. Make straight in, runway 18 left, American Pacific 447. Alright, they're coming in on the other runway, so we're fine. Here we go. 1000. 1000, and I have control. Ah! We're still to white, to red, we're on course to land. And we're doing all right. American Pacific 447, clear to land, runway 18 left. Well, oh, they're coming up alongside of us. One way, one eight left. American Pacific four four seven. Oh, we're crossing over the highway in just a moment. Four hundred. Four hundred. Got a crosswind. Three hundred. Three hundred. Approaching minimums. 200 minimums we are committed to land 100 100 50 40 30 20 and flaring 10 and nose down reverse thrusters are on Yes, indeed. Crew is released to go to work. Flaps up. We'll make our Miami turn here. Exit runway enabled. Ryanair one eight six contact ground on one one nine point eight five. One one minor point eight five four one one eight six. All right, we'll do the clean up here. Lights are off. Tendons go to work, and everything is off. Clean up is good. All right, now we'll find our way to apron number one and a place to park so we'll need to go down here and turn left up this taxiway american pacific 447 exit runway when able
This airport scenery is made by Just Sim. Just Sim. American Pacific Four, four seven, And it five, really five, is one, detailed. One, Look at that. Point eight, five. One, one, minor point eight, five, four. American Pacific Four, four, seven. Well, we've got a little ways to go before we get to the area and there is plenty of moving aircraft here so we'll have to keep my eyes open for all of that. But this is really, really detailed airport. Now I'm definitely speeding on this taxiway. I'm doing 39 miles an hour. Ha! And you know the ATC will give you speeding tickets if they catch you. Ha! Okay, now here's where I make my turn into number one area there was a jet coming towards me I didn't want to risk going nose to nose with him oh, I was turning off anyway all right we're coming up onto the apron number one What I'm looking for is uh, 105 or something like that. And there's a reason for that. Because this section right here is the executive section. And we, being Ryanair, well, we are naturally executive. So there it is. See, there's the VIP lounge. And here is 105, so I'm going to turn into here. Look at that. <laughs> How about that? We're going to, we're at 105. And, okay, and brake on, lights off. And engines off. All right, let's do the cleanup. And the stairs are going down. Okay. And Everything is looking good. This is the airport scenery made by Just Sim. And look at the detail. Look at this. Isn't this great? Beautiful detail. And yes, we are at the VIP lounge. This is a first for Ryanair 186. And why not? All of our passengers are VIPs, so naturally they should have the benefit. But there's a lot of beautiful detail in this. Great detail indeed. So that is where we're at. VIP Lounge 105. Okay, everything is shut down. Our self-loading cargo has departed, so I'm going to 
turn off the power, turn off the APU, turn off the battery and everything is shut down. Okay. Well, there you have it. We had a delightful flight. Flawless sky. I mean, just beautiful sky and very warm temperatures. All the way through the flight, we never got into any kind of icing conditions or anything below five degrees. So this was a really nice flight. No bumps, air was smooth, very nice. This is my first time into both of these airports. I've never been into either of these two before. So I'm quite taken by them. And the fact that it has a VIP lounge makes it all the more appropriate for Ryanair 186. Now, doesn't it? <laughs> well, easy flying. I appreciate the suggestion very much indeed. Thank you for that. And thank you also for pointing me to where I could get that freeware scenery. And I'll see you again on another flight coming up. And everyone else, thank you for flying with us. And I'll see you all again next week on a flight of Ryanair 186. Bye, everybody.